What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Double DRC here and uh, I'm going to do a two week review of my HPI Sport 3. So, I'm not very happy. I am, but I'm not. Uh, I got this car a couple weeks ago. Uh, got real excited, I did my unboxing video. Uh, went out with my cousin, got it on the road and worked awesome. Had a blast with it, it was racing around, all that other stuff. Then we went out a second time. And the second time we went out, again, everything fine and dandy, running like a champ. Everything was great. But not the third time. Uh, we were out and about, running them around in a, a parking lot, giant parking lot, and... Uh, Running around for about 10 minutes and I noticed it, it started spinning more often. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't really want to corner well. So I brought it in and took off the body and found that one of the dog bones in the front here actually became dislodged. Uh, at first I was looking at it, I kept, I kept driving around trying to, f to figure out what was going on and finally I saw the dog bone bouncing back and forth. I got a pair of pliers in there and got the dog bone popped out because it was just, it was just rubbing against all the plastic and metal and stuff like that. And it wasn't too happy. So I got that out and it still ran. Don't get me wrong, it still ran all right, you know, it wasn't really, it wasn't really a big deal. It's just, it didn't, it did not steer like it should. So after uh, I had my problem, uh, my cousin's Sport 2 actually popped out the very exact same drive shaft. So that pretty much killed our day for us, because his actually went missing. He couldn't find his. Uh... We brought him back to the house. He, I dissected mine and started looking into on the internet about how to fix it. Uh, I read HPI's forums and apparently it happens quite often. Uh, I even emailed HPI and they said that they are shipped out without having two O-rings in the front end uh, un unintentionally. And that's what causes it because there's so much slack in the dog bone. Well, the thing with mine was the O-ring was not even there. Uh, it, it, I'm only assuming that maybe maybe it broke while I was out driving around. Not sure. But uh, I went on the Tower Hobbies and ordered some dog bones and some O-rings. Uh, the only reason I ordered dog bones was because I gave my cousin my dog bone because I felt bad that he lost his. And it turns out these don't match the Sport 2s. The Sport 2s are actually longer. So uh, he was unable to use it anyway. But HPI was very, was very nice and said they would send me some O-rings. So I'm waiting for the O-rings which doesn't really matter because I bought some anyway to fix it. But other than that, uh, so far it's a blast. Now I have not, I have not ran it yet since I, I changed the O-rings and put the dog bones in. Uh, the dog bone. I didn't tear apart the other side, which I probably should just to make sure and or, and or put two in. But I figure, heck, I got extra parts. I'll just wait till it happens again and then I'll do it. But uh, so far... I really do like the car, other than the fact that I had this problem only the, maybe the third time into driving it. Uh, but, but HPI was very, very helpful with uh, telling me what, wrong, what went wrong, how to fix it, sending me the extra parts needed for it. So as far as, as, far as that goes, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, the brushed motor, I'm very surprised in that too. Uh, I figured maybe it, it might be not as quick, but it was, for, for beginning, it was every bit as what I was hoping for in a, a race car. Um, I can honestly say after, after looking inside my cousins and seeing the, 
the uh, belt driven system which isn't bad uh, I definitely like it having a sealed drive shaft better just because after the first time we ran it and we pulled our bodies off we could not believe the stuff that the the body had picked up and and kept inside here this was completely covered in dust and obviously it still is somewhat covered in dust and dirt and road dirt the other thing is if you can these are really nice to be ran on flat broomed surfaces uh, we ran ours in a giant parking lot and there was rocks and divots and cracks and all sorts of other stuff that that caused not much trouble it just you know it popped the front end up or you know it wouldn't it wouldn't drive properly just because all the all the stuff that it was kicking up it also did tear into the bottom and there's there's a rock my point exactly I flip it over once and there comes a rock but uh it did tear up the bottom a good bit you can see a bunch of scratches and scrapes and stuff but nothing nothing to be alarmed of I would assume because everything I mean everything's still intact it's just it's just plastic scraping so the other thing obviously I had to change to a Dean's plug right off the bat when I got when I got or I did the unboxing video and I said I was going to charge a battery I looked through the manual and it said for the first charge of those batteries right away uh, charge it for six hours and I didn't have that kind of time. My cousin was actually on his way over when I was doing the unboxing video. So I just, uh, I just threw a Dean's plug on it, uh, threw my LiPo battery to it. The only thing that I didn't understand is I read the instructions where it said that you had to change the mode to LiPo mode. And honestly, I could not figure that out. Uh, maybe... Maybe I have to do more research or reading or something, but usually to change it, it's on the, the uh, ESC itself, and this one does not have that. I don't, know, I don't know if there's a special way you have to do it or not. Uh, maybe you guys can fill me in a little bit because maybe I'm just really confused. But I, was not, I did not figure out what the LiPo mode was, but uh, I mean it worked. And it's been running. I don't know if it'll wear wear the parts down more because it's not at the right setting. I don't know if this has a different setting. I'm not. I don't really know. I don't really know the deal. So, but all in all, it's a pretty good vehicle. Uh, I love the sealed drive shaft. Everything ran great except for the dog bone, which they took care of. Uh, I got new rims ordered with. Uh, through eBay and I plan on putting some PVC piping on and taking some videos of drifting and that's pretty much it uh, I got some GoPro videos that I'm gonna post up here in you know next couple of days or whatever and uh, we'll see where we go from there I know I, I teased you guys with some bodies uh, in the unboxing video I have not had time to paint them. Uh, the one that I started painting is still left unfinished. I just haven't had the time to do it. Uh, I've been doing a lot of other stuff, but I would like to. I'd like to get to it soon. But with that remark, I will say that actually, this body has kind of grown on me. Uh, when I first got it, I wasn't. I wasn't really enthused with it. Uh, I can't really say like I'm a BMW guy or whatever, but it, it's nice. I mean, it, it really is. It's not, it's not a bad body and, uh, you know, it's good for bashing. I mean, I, I don't intentionally bash this things into walls like I do my SCX, but, uh, it happens it, and it happens a lot. Uh, you'll see some video of when I, when I post up my GoPro videos of, I hit a good amount of stuff, and actually my cousin and I ran into each other a couple times with our RCs. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what uh, that's what I think about this so far. After I do a couple runs with it with a new setup in the dog bone, I will probably do another video about that. 
and uh, keep you guys posted on that stuff. Alrighty, well, I think that's about it. I'm going to wrap it up here, so you guys enjoy the rest of your day.